Champions League 2021 is back. Oh. That is good. For the throwdown. Oh, great pass and the throwdown. Pass inside and Kaiser. Jackson. Pass it around nicely, Sam Decker for three. Oh, lovely little over the head pass. Pulls up, Hell Mary. It's good! It's good! Did you see that? Oh, Hi, Inquera. What a big dunk! Straight down the lane, he throws it down. Oh, upstairs for the throwdown. Fast break basketball, you've got to love it. That is for you. Iron in the alley-oop pass. McFadden throws it high, and it's good. McFadden with the prayer. It's behind the back for the beautiful pass. He puts it up for three. Good! Monte Carlson wins the game. Cass picks it up, throws it up, and it's good! Michael all the way, gets the out one. Bookie Mintz, lovely pass, there Mishulis throws it down. Keith Langford, it was only a matter of time. Easily broke by Sassari. And a throw down. Get it to Milan, and he's fouled as well. Excellent. Gets rejected, well, what a block. A fast break, Dinamo Sassari basketball. Defensive player by Ubasaha made that look easy. Uban for three, gets it. Uban with the bounce pass to Ubasaha. Picks the pocket of Mikel and throws it down. Behind the back pass, it is Brindisi. Showtime. Great play by Harrison. Great defense from Kribali who goes in and throws it down with that left hand. Talich for three. Anthony Clements got it, and one. Waller with a three, oh, drops it. From the baseline, that's good. Here they come. Here comes Ziggo Kea. Trasic for three. How about that? Strepkov, great pass and finish by Shepard. That was tough. He finds his way, puts it up on what a play. What a play by Shepard. Put that on the highlight reel. It's a math and by who can't miss. Easy work from Morgan. Two more in the bank for him. How about that for some defense, though? Got DJ Kennedy in transition. Oh, he's going to go all the way. And pass inside and Kaiser. Oh, what passing. And it's Madsen once again. Galliou pass. And it's good for three. What a finish to this game. So, we will now be drawing among the following. Aik, Dinamo Sassari, Era Nimburg, Happy Casa Brindisi, Igo Kea, Nizhny Novgorod, Pinar Karsiaka, and Vef Riga. We can begin keeping in mind that the computer will place the teams drawn in the next available group, filling the different groups as we proceed with the draw. So, let's begin. Michel, let's shuffle well from the pot too, and let's see. Very well. First team drawn is Happy Casa Brindisi. First participation into the BCL playoffs. 
fifth team, fifth different team from Italy making at this stage of the competition. And in D'Angelo Harrison, they have the best free thrower of the competition. D'Angelo have scored all 40 of his free throws in the regular season. And they will be going to the first group, Group I. And we will continue to fill the groups in a horizontal manner. Let's continue. Second team. Second team drawn is Vef Riga from Latvia. Second participation into the Basketball Champions League. First time they reach the playoffs. Very impressive def defensive performance, allowing only 41% of their opponents attempted field goals. And they will be going to Group J. Let's continue. Next team drawn is Aik from Greece, one of only two teams that have made this stage of the competition in all five of their participations in the Basketball Champions League. Of course, Aik winners in 2018, finalists in 2020, and in Keith Langford, they have the top score of the regular season. Keith has scored 129 points in the regular season, and Aik will be going into Group K. Let's continue. Next team drawn is Era Nimburg, the eternal champions of the Czech Republic. Nimburg with us five seasons, fourth time to make it to the Basketball Champions League playoffs. They were also present in the final eight in Athens and the best rebounders of the regular season with 44.7 rebounds per game. And Nimburg, they will be going to Group L. We can now continue back in alphabetical order for the various groups. Next team drawn is Pinar Karciaka from Izmir, from Turkey. Pinar, third participation in the Basketball Champions League, third time they make it into the playoffs. Previous two experiences, they moved to the top eight. Let's see what will happen this year. Let's continue. And of course, they will be joining Happy Casa Brindisi in Group I. Next team drawn is Igokea, representing Borja Herzegovina. They are the only team that started this season in the qualification round, debut season for Igokea in our competition. They won all three home games and they will be joining Vef Riga in Group J. Let's continue. Nizhny Novgorod is the next team drawn. Nizhny, third participation into the playoffs. Their opponents have only scored 8.5. They have collected 8.5 offensive rebounds, making them one of the best performance in that area. And they will be joining Ike Athens in Group K. Last but not least, we should be speaking Italian because it is Dinamo Sassari from Italy, third time Dinamo Sassari reaches the BCL playoffs. Best attacking performance for them under coach Pozzeco this season. They scored 87.3 points on average in the regular season. Again, their best performance in their BCL history. And they will be joining Era Nimburg in Group L. This concludes the draw for the group runners-up. And we're now ready to continue with the draw of the eight teams that won their regular season groups. Let us remember who these eight teams are. It's Hunter Dull, what a bounce pass that was. With us, oh, rejection. Stayed in bounds, that's a beautiful bounce pass. Oh, get out of my way. Prasino, smooth stroke, and a problem. Oh, baby, Nicholas Prasino. Ennis pulls up, Hail Mary. It's done! It's done! Big shot three! The McGee steps to the side, fires, makes it! In the lane, kicks out. How now down the middle. How all the way. Workman under the basket. Gets the M1. Oh! Straight down the lane and throws it down. 
And Yazir Ramiro throws it down. Oh, behind the back, can Salvo finish? He can! Baseline attack is good by McFadden. Now the alley -oop. and throwing it down. They don't stop Sasu Salim, who strikes again. But another easy drive for Cher Medini. Gotas steps in, now one. Oh, what a block. What will Strasbourg do? They get it to Colson from behind the orb. Got it! Incredible! Bonte Colson wins the game! Unbelievable! And there's the lob, and there's the finish with the roll. Oh, what a rejection! Takes it, hands it off. Oh, it gets rejected. Michael Lerner. The Wucha finds a way. Always tries to find a way. Foul line, bullet pushes, drops the two. And bit of showtime. Turk Telecom. So, we will now be drawing among the following teams placed in the pot number one in front of Michael. Brose Bamberg, Casa de Mont Saragossa, Hapoel Unet Credit Holon, Hereda San Pablo Burgos, Lenovo Tenerife, Six Strasbourg, Tofas Bursa, and Turk Telecom. As already mentioned, at this stage of the draw, there is only one restriction applicable. No clubs that have been in the same group during the regular season can be drawn against each other. The computer will therefore take the above restriction into consideration and place each team that is drawn into the next available group. Hopefully, this is all clear and we can now begin with a draw. Let's shuffle well and let's see the first team from pot one. It is San Pablo Burgos, probably correct to start with our champion. San Pablo Burgos started in the qualification round last year, went all the way to win the trophy and now they are on their way to Buenos Aires in Argentina, where they will compete for the FIBA Intercontinental Cup this weekend, facing Kimsa, the champions of BCL Americas. And Burgos will be going to Group J. Of course, they cannot go into Group I, as Happy Casa Brindisi is already there. Burgos has opponents in the regular season, so the computer is identifying the next available group. Let's move on. Next team drawn is Tofas Bursa, newcomers into the Basketball Champions League, their debut season, and they're trying to become the fourth Turkish team to make it all the way to the quarterfinals. Impressive defensive performance. They only conceded 26.3 points under the paint, and they will be joining Group I with Casa Brindisi and another Turkish team, Pinar Karsiaka. As you all know, there are no country restrictions at this stage of the draw. Let's continue and shuffle. It is Casa de Mont Saragossa from Spain. Second participation into the Basketball Champions League. Se second time they reached this stage of the competition. Actually made it to the top four last summer in Athens. And in Rodrigo San Miguel, they have the player that has the most participations, 19 at this stage of the competition, and Saragossa will go to Group L, joining Nimburg and Dinamo Sassari. They could not go to Group K, Nizhny Novgorod, their opponents were already there. So, let's move on. It is Turk Telecom from Ankara, from Turkey. Second participation into the Basketball Champions League. Second qualification at this stage of the competition. Also participated in the final eight in Athens. And they will be joining Group K along with Aik and Nizhny Novgorod. We have now three quarters of the groups identified. Four teams left, four balls left. Let's continue, Michael. Next team drawn is 
Hapoel Unet Credit Holon from Israel. First time they make it at this stage of the competition after four attempts uh, already. And uh, Holon, they have in Isaiah Miles the best three-pointer in the regular season. Isaiah has scored 22 three-points and they will be going into Group I along with Tofas Bursa, Happy Casabrindisi, Pinar Karsiaka, and that forms the entire Group I. We have the first such group concluded. Good. Let's continue. Next team drawn is Sieg Strasbourg from France. Five years with the Basketball Champions League. Third time they make it to the playoffs. They are known as the Thieves, les voleurs of the regular season. 10.3 steals for Strasbourg in the regular season. And they will be going to Group K. They could not go to the previous one. Vefriga from the regular season group was there. So Group K now is complete with Turk Telecom, Six Strasbourg, Aik, and Nizhny Novgorod. Let's continue. Two teams left. And it is Lenovo Tenerife, along with Aik, the other team that has a five out of five success in qualifying to the playoffs. Of course, Tenerife, they won the inaugural Basketball Champions League in 2017, finalists in 2019, and the best attack in the regular season, 92 points average per game. And they will be joining their compatriots, current champions, San Pablo Burgos, along with Riga and Igokea in Group J. We should be speaking German, and we last had the best attacking team, if this is correct. It is Brose Bamberg, which is, which is the team that has the best defensive record in the regular season, 71.5 points on average for Bamberg. They also made it to the Final Four in 2019 in Antwerp. And that concludes Group L with Saragossa, Nimburg, Dinamo Sassari, and Bamberg, the last team drawn. This concludes the technical part of the draw and all the teams know what it will take to qualify for this year's Final Eight to be held the first week of May. Thank you, Michel, for your assistance and good luck to all the clubs. I would now like to welcome Chris back on stage for his closing remarks. Thank you. Thank you also, Patrick, and thank you, Michel. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank you all for attending the ceremony. We are now very much looking forward to the start of the playoffs on the 2nd of March. And until then, what should I say? Stay safe, stay healthy, and thank you again. Enjoy the rest of the day. Goodbye. esta fase de la competición, los playoffs, en los cuales ahora nos encontramos los 16 mejores equipos de la competición. Hablamos de un grupo ya de equipos con, con nivel. Nos falta saber las fechas que vendrán eh, determinados pues, estos partidos que nos quedan de esta fase de playoff, pero podemos decir que nuestro eh, grupo es un grupo digamos, complicado, un grupo donde va a haber mucha competitividad y donde va a ser un grupo donde va a haber una disputa por alcanzar estas dos primeras posiciones. Bros Basket entra como primero de su grupo con un récord de, récord de victorias de 6-0. Es el único equipo de la competición que no ha perdido ningún partido. Es un equipo uh, muy competitivo, un equipo que mmm, tiene muchos jugadores que han pasado por la liga ACB. 
pues, uh, Ruf, que estuvo en Bilbao, Chase Fieler, que estuvo jugando en Deporo, Shevon Thompson, que recientemente estuvo en Fuenlabrada, Vital, que lo recordaremos de Andorra, o Kravis, que el año pasado jugó en Manresa. Es un, equip un equipo compacto, buen defensor, uh, bueno, un equipo complicado. Los equipos alemanes pues, tienen una idiosincrasia un poco especial en la manera de jugar, pero bueno, un equipo que nos va a estar demostrando pues, mucha efectividad en esta competición de la BCL. Sassari ha entrado como segundo de su grupo, él estaba encuadrado en el mismo grupo donde estaba jugando Tenerife, eh, entraron con el mismo número, mismo récord de victorias, 4 a 2, con la particularidad que les ganaron un partido a Tenerife, les ganaron de 20. Es un equipo que podemos eh, identificar un poco pues, con una referencia interior, como es Miro Vilan, un jugador con mucha experiencia, con mucha calidad interior, está también Bencius jugando ahí, jugador que podemos recordar por su época en Obradoiro y está entrenado por un exjugador de Zaragoza como es Otseco. Un equipo con experiencia y peligroso, va a ser también un rival complicado. Por último, eh, Nimburg, que el equipo checo también entra con un récord 4-2, estaba encuadrado en el grupo de Tofas Bursa, con quien han pasado empatados en victorias, por el Average han entrado ellos, eh, son los campeones de la Nimburg de, de, de Chequia todas las temporadas, un, grupo, un equipo que está acostumbrado a ese ambiente ganador, con mucha gente que proviene de la selección, uh, Ruban como uno de sus máximos anotadores, su base Obasohan y el alero Prewit son sus máximos anotadores, es un equipo que tiene calidad, mucha amenaza desde el tiro de tres, es un equipo que, que siempre ha competido, han estado en la última final a ocho, en Atenas también, un rival complicado. Uh, una de las dificultades que tienen los grupos cortos es que uh, el margen de error es mínimo, entonces eh, hay, que, hay que ajustar todos los partidos al máximo, eh, no permitir grandes diferencias, intentar amarrar cuantos más partidos en casa mejor, porque el margen de recuperación después en, en seis partidos es muy poco, con lo cual va a venir todo muy seguido, van a ser todos los partidos en el mes de marzo y la primera semana de abril, eh, nos falta saber todavía las fechas de cada uno de los, de los partidos, pero va a venir todo muy, muy, muy apretado, con lo cual el margen de error en este tipo de grupos tan pequeños es, es, es muy máximo.